Hello, everybody. <clears throat> How's it going? Uh, I haven't streamed in a while, but I hope uh, you guys are okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so for right now, I'm just going to be doing some live stream or some uh, uh, random sketching and stuff um, from imagination. Uh, I've been playing around with some digital stuff lately. I'm gonna make a post on the gram real quick. Concurrent viewer, uh, how are you doing? Sorry, I was posting something on social media. Can make a post in the Discord. If anyone has any thoughts or questions, just uh, let me know. this in my discord uh okay pen where did you go pen there you are Here we go. Um, if anyone has any thoughts or just wants to tell me that I'm a horrible person, uh, let me know. So I'm trying to do this with a new setup. So my uh, screen might be kind of laggy. If it is, uh, I'm sorry. Um, it is not ideal, but my computer needs to be upgraded at some point. But I need more money, so. Um, for anyone listening, I uh, before I start sketching, I always do like these like drawing warm up exercises, just moving my hand around. It's important to do this just to, um, I guess, get warmed up and get your hand all moving. Um, I, uh, I, you know, sometimes I'll go for periods of like a, a week or two or a few days or something without really drawing as much as I normally would. And that for sure affects my ability to throw down lines. It's gonna work.
Uh, yeah. Uh, what up, Marib Ahmed Hassam? I do believe in the art of meditation. Um, I think that I, I I don't know what you mean exactly, but I suspect I know what you mean. Uh, when I draw, uh, I try to zone out and um, only focus on the individual strokes that I have. Focus on my breathing, all that kind of stuff. Again, I don't know if that's exactly what you mean, but I kind of try to do that as much as I can. Uh, how about you? Have you tried that? Um, by the way, for anyone watching this right now, if I suddenly cut out, it's because my Wi-Fi sucks sometimes. It just randomly stops working, so if I disappear, that is why. What up, Infillin? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. I'm just uh, doing random from life or from imagination sketches. If anyone has any questions or thoughts, feel free to let me know. Um, what kind of inspiration are you looking for? Uh, <clears throat> and I guess while you're responding to that, I will share my answer. Um, I don't know, the kind of 
uh, way I've been trying to approach art is more of just like a for fun sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> and when I'm feeling like I'm stuck or don't really know what to draw, I just either I, I do things that are unrelated to drawing. Like I'll play a video game, I'll go for a walk, I'll ride my bike, I'll, you know, I guess go get lunch with somebody, hang out with my girlfriend or watch a TV show. And um, I think that uh, drawing and the skill of drawing is more about like cultivating the, uh, like kind of cultivating that inspiration and that taste. Uh, it, it takes a long time to get to that point where you're um, like able to consistently like sit down for 12 hours and you know just grind on on images uh, museums are good as well um, you know but yeah I don't know What kind of stuff do you draw? Greg's Aquatics. I think uh, I, I watch Cynics a lot for this sort of thing. Um, for at least for me, the the goal with art isn't to do great images. It's to uh, kind of like love the process of it and to be process oriented. And uh, I think with Instagram and uh, likes and you know the amount of attention people. You know, ideally it would be cool to get like a hundred thousand likes on a post consistently, but uh, it, it's it's very easy to look outside yourself for validation. I think uh, whether it's like looking for validation from the amount of attention you're getting online or uh, certain people liking or disliking your post or whatever, uh, I think the more able you're list kind of, you're able to like listen to the listen to yourself and be like, oh man, maybe I just really want to draw like portraits today or I really want to draw landscapes or whatever and being okay that it's not like oh I'm not making a concept art piece portfolio thing um, ultimately I think it's all valid and there's no one that can tell you what is right and wrong um, and uh, I, I and I know this speaking from experience, every great artist that I know and have talked to, they, they have days where they're like, oh shit, this is tedious. I don't want to fucking draw another guy again or another, you know, person holding a, a baby or whatever. Um, or another, you know, concept art guy with a spear. Um... But I think the real work of trying to be an artist again is is not the actual day to day moment to moment drawing or studying. I think it's like the work that you put into like justify spending the time doing it. Um, like for a lot of people, it's their job. You know, if you're a concept artist or storyboard guy or whatever, your job is to like go out and like you know make storyboards, tell stories and stuff. And if you don't do that, you can't pay the bills, which is a really good incentive to to you know be inspired to draw. Uh, but I don't think it's ideal for, you know, like longevity necessarily and mental health for that to be the only thing that you do. And uh, drawing for 12 straight hours, it, it you know, I've done it before and I, I have enjoyed it in the past, but um, it takes work. It takes effort to, to get to that point where you're doing it consistently and enjoying it uh, it's not trivial like you, you have to earn that right to enjoy 
art that much. In the same way that like I think you have to earn and work hard for the ability to like enjoy a museum, because uh, a museum is like kind of tedious if you don't like art. Like you're just walking around looking at pictures. Uh, but once you understand the context and the inspiration, it it gets, uh, you know. Um, it, it, do you have an Instagram, Greg? I could take a look at. I'm, I'm just curious if if I could see your work just for some context. I do draw for myself, not to post or work. I'm just not inspired by anything I see. Um, I, have, I have a little bit of a philosophical response that might sound like pseudo intellectual nonsense. And if it, if it is, don't listen to me. It's fucking bullshit, whatever. But the whole idea of like, there, there's like a union quote or something. It's like, what you want most is where you least want to look. And if you like, and it sounds melodramatic and stuff, but if you look into the void long enough, you'll be able to find like light or, you know, some positive thing. And I think the purpose there is more like, if you draw for long enough or if you make something for long enough with the hope that it'll be something meaningful for somebody else, I think that, that to, to me that like that's where the real meaning comes from. Like um, if you follow me at all, like I have a podcast that I host and uh, normally those conversations like, you know, they're just like I would have those at dinner and then they would be gone forever. And it's like, oh, it's, you know, became like okay there's less context to it but uh when the podcast when i started the podcast and it was about like oh let's have a serious conversation about like oh why do you enjoy doing this in the first place then those things became a little bit more fun to do and a little bit more relevant and 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 actually like pretty fulfilling creatively and uh having a project to follow along with that other people consume and and in some ways like you know Get, get something out of I don't know what but uh, it made me like okay th there's like something here other than just like you know trying to chase views or try to make a good podcast or anything um, same, same thing with art like uh, if you make like awesome paintings that people hang up in their houses and genuinely makes their space look prettier and nicer then I think that that also does a lot for the uh, for making art more meaningful. I can do like a back post. Um, but I, I, I think at a certain point art, it, it starts to like transcend the, uh, purely the, I guess, aesthetic and the training aspect of it. Like at a certain point, and I, 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 th I think it's always a good idea to train, which is part of the problem with it, is that th there's never an excuse to like stop doing figure drawing. Like You should always be doing more figure drawing no matter who you are. And uh, the problem with that is that that sometimes gets in the way of like just making art, like the reason you got into doing it in the first place. Like You can either make a decent looking portrait or keep studying to make portraits. Um, or you, you can do a portrait of some family member that you really love and you know that person will cherish that portrait that you create, or you could just keep training to make a better portrait. So sometime in the future, you'll make them happier theoretically with a better portrait. Um, and I think if you just create stuff um, and let yourself be intuitive with it and try to find an audience with it then and, and, and when i say audience i don't mean like monetization audience somebody that'll buy it i mean like somebody like you know uh you know drawing something that inspires somebody to become a better artist or or whatever um but yeah sorry sorry for rambling um i i uh have been there and I will go back to that place of like not being inspired by art and um, it is a 
complicated thing to navigate. I gotta learn how to draw fucking hands. Never draw fucking hands. I don't know with with all this stuff I think a huge portion of it is again like finding the thing that you can get yourself to do and stepping outside the conventions of what good and bad art is um, I think that if you're again I don't know anything about you Greg but or I guess anyone watching this um, but I think the art ed education sphere emphasizes the fundamentals to like a detrimental amount um like the purpose of this is to like like make awesome things that people care about and that could mean like making south park or making music or um you know making a mural that people see every day on their way to work or whatever it could be anything and um and the fundamentals and the drawing they're just there to like help you do that you know it's just like one tool in the tool belt to help you, um, you know, like if you wanted to make a mural, a lot more work goes into mural making than, you know, being a good figurative artist or something or being a good studier. And you could probably spend a lifetime just on understanding like the tools of uh, trying to be a good mural maker. Um, Sorry for the rambling. It's not helpful. But... Um, I think everyone should, I, I, I honestly, I think if you're studying to be an artist, the most important thing you could do for yourself is give yourself a project. Um, one, because it, it does keep you consistent. It gives you a goal to work towards and it gives you like an audience that, you know, helps encourage you. But the most important thing I think it helps you with is like your own problem solving. Like you can spend all fucking day studying the Riley method or Loomis method or perspective from Scott Robertson or whatever. But at the end of, you know, at the end of the day, it's just, it's someone else's method for being creative. And, um, having a project that you choose that you care about is, you know, that's the thing that helps you figure out the way you would be doing things, even if you didn't have to worry about money, you know, and having a roadmap at first with another person's way of drawing, absolutely helps you figure out like okay i don't know how to draw a person how do i have something to have like a little bit of momentum to actually get that shit done and you'll you'll do it you'll make good figure drawings and then eventually be like okay now what you know 
And if you only ever do studies, then you won't have an answer to that. But if you are doing other projects uh, and other things, you'll be like, okay, like I studied a lot of figure drawing, but now, okay, I can do something else with this. Whether it's like, you know, being a painter, animator, uh, mural artist, and like a character artist, whatever. Um, What up, mostly diesel? Um, when it and when it comes to starting a project, uh, the, you know, act of just letting it be bad, I think is one of the most important things you could do for yourself. Like, just be a bad artist. Like, it doesn't fucking matter. Like, oh, like one, first of all, uh, every single good painting has was created like the best paintings were created before we were even alive you know like if you go into the met or the louvre or whatever there are paintings in there that are better than anything anyone else has done today you know and it's like it sure it's so it's subjective and all that but like when you look at the technical skill of those oil paintings they're like oh that's fucking insane and sure there are people alive today that could you know do versions of that but um you know i think uh like for me, my YouTube channel and all this stuff has been a really good like exercise in just making bad shit. Like, I'll make podcasts that I don't like, and I'm like, oh, sure, whatever. I, you know, I enjoy doing this, so it's worth the the, the time. Um, or um, yeah, I'll make podcasts that are bad, or um, I'll, I'll do plenty of things that are like bad, you know, bad drawings or whatever, and me streaming right now, I'm just kind of messing around. Uh, but it like it is a form of a project because I'm like talking to you guys, there's going to be a VOD of this that people are going to be able to watch later and, you know, uh, interact with maybe. And um, and it's like advertising my channel and my like my brand and stuff. And it's like leading to potentially other things other than just this, like this sketch. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, and uh, I, I love figure drawing as well. And the analogy that I used to use for myself is when you look at Proko, uh, Proko has a pretty niche set of skills, like figure drawing, academic figure drawing. It's not, it's like something that people have already figured out. It's not like he's doing anything new. He just like made YouTube videos out of it and it's become this really big popular thing uh, for a lot of people. And uh, I think anyone can do a version of that like uh your figure drawing or your studying doesn't have to be just studying it could be like oh let's make youtube videos out of it or let's make a book out of it or let's like teach with it or let's you know walk onto the street and like uh do free character sketches or something but um richard friend uh i i have friends who are friends with richard friend uh, I just don't, I just don't know him. Um, if you know him and, uh, you think he would be interested, uh, have him reach out to me or something and we could talk about it. It would be cool to get him on. Is he like a inker or something? Um, Um, yeah, yeah, I, I would love to get Richard on. I, again, I've just been, I've been busy with other stuff lately. I was, uh, filming Ryan Benjamin's Comic Pro Bootcamp thing this weekend, 
uh, to like a workshop with him, Carlos Danda, Alex Sinclair, and Will, uh, Wills Portacio, where they just uh, they rent out a room in a hotel, like a conference room, and 20 students came by and they gave lectures for three days straight. And I was just there, like, you know, being the camera guy, essentially. Um, I'll, I'll look him up. Uh, I found there are uh, too many people to keep track of. True friend. Um, well, if he ever does a stream, tell him uh, he, he should reach out to me or something and we could, could talk about it. Yeah, uh, sorry, sorry, Greg, for the long-winded response. I hope it was uh, not annoying to listen to. Is the stream lagging at all, or? Oh, if it is, then whatever. We'll figure it out later. Oh, cool. Uh, thanks for being in my Discord. Sorry, I've not been as active lately. Uh, I need to do that shit more. If you guys would like to answer a question for me, um, <coughs> what kind of <laughs> what kind of content would you want to see from me? I think I'm doing a head drawing video. Um, um, 
maybe some more like lifestyle-y kind of stuff. Oh, thanks. Shoot it. I'll, I'll try and do more stuff like that. Here, block one. Probably going to be somewhat of a short stream today. We go for another 15 or 20 minutes. Um, my endurance for this stuff needs to be built back up again. Speaking of able to draw, it's fired. Uh, I get nervous when I draw in front of people, so my uh, just trying to keep some momentum up right now. Um, I don't really have any big personal project going on right now. Um, I guess it's like, I guess I do. I mean, this is just uh, YouTube stuff. Um, I'm trying to build like a little business on the side. It's been taking up a ton of time. Um, in terms of art projects, no, I don't really draw that way. Um, no like graphic novels or comic books or anything. Um, I guess, again, the goal with my art is to be a little bit more, uh, I guess, process oriented and I haven't really felt the need or inspiration to go out and try to make a, uh, you know, an IP or anything. Um, and I, I admire the people that do, like, I really like Invincible and what they did with that and, um. Like Ren Otley and all those guys. But, uh, yeah. Not particularly motivated to make anything like that on my own. I don't really like game development, so. Um, I guess the other venues are, I, I mean, uh, YouTube, uh, I think YouTube is a really interesting way of communicating ideas because you could explore other things other, like very easily other than just images. You can do, you know, philosophy videos or, you know, travel videos or, you know, uh, I, I, I think you could pretty much just do whatever you want. Animations. Um, I think, uh, 
Yeah, video games, comics, TV. Uh, the the crazy part about art is that it could really be anything. And like I've been reading uh, Rick Rubin's book, and uh, as it comes to like an outlet for drawing, like drawing could be uh, again like a political pamphlet or something, or a, um, you know like a national park uh, thing, like a national park poster or whatever. And um, I, I really think it's all about finding the project that you really love and like you would rather do that than play video games or watch a movie or TV or anything like, and, and honestly choose that over like one thing over another. Um, and like, uh, like my friend Scott Flanders, uh, he talks all the time about like, you know, doing sculptures and stuff and sculptures don't necessarily give him money or profits or anything, but it's, it's something that he enjoys doing that, you know, uh, is fun. And it's not like the best like art on the planet, uh, but it's interesting and it's cool. And it's something that he really loves, which again, I think is the most important part. And it, 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 they are good sculptures for sure. Uh, but it's way more about the actual genuine enjoyment of it. And I, I know that's not like necessarily like a, you know, um, I guess helpful, helpful answer. But the uh, uh, fact that I think you can make a project out of anything is interesting. Like if Scott spent enough time, he could become a great, like, fine art sculptor and sells sculptures for, you know, forty, fifty thousand dollars Um, in the same way that like, if, you know, uh, you were to start, you know, I mentioned this in my podcast a lot. If you were to start drawing anime boys all the time, there's a huge market for anime boys. And it, it's like, maybe like you make a business that makes like $600,000 a year or something from drawing anime boys. And, uh, you know, I know of people that do that sort of thing. And, uh, you know, it, it all starts from that genuine, just like love of drawing anime boys. Uh, and that in like refusing to judge yourself and the thing that you're doing as being lame or stupid or like not worth the time. Like the, the thing I'm doing here is very much just trying to, like, hey, I'm just drawing. It's, it's no big deal. Like, um, there are things I don't like about my drawings and things that I do, but it's just like trying to go moment by moment for it. Um, and I, Greg, I guarantee that you are a good artist. Like, if you don't think you can make something that people like or consume, uh, I, I would ask you to beg to differ. And I, 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 again, there, there's always that pressure to try and do like good art and good images and otherwise it's not worth doing. But I think if you just stay on the path and figure shit out, you'll for sure get there.
Uh, I feel aimless all the time. I mean, you know, to know what to do with your life without any uh, direction is like the, like, it's both extremely terrifying and soul crushing, but also like the best thing, you know? You could be literally doing anything. Like, if you wanted to, you know, start drawing nothing but anime boys, or if you wanted to start sculpting stuff, or, you know, making music, or do, doing anything, you, you can. And the, again, the hard part is just choosing something and settling down on it and like committing to the idea of it being the thing that you do. And the difficulty with that is that you're probably going to choose the wrong thing because there's an infinite number of things to choose from. And it's hard. Like, uh, nothing is easy, even drawing anime boys. And you're going to have to solve a lot of problems. You're going to realize you're maybe not the best person in the room. And it's going to take a lot of soul searching and, you know, uh, figuring out stuff. But the... Uh, the th I guess the thing I'm talking about is like the I guess and part of the reason why I try to travel so much is uh, you can only be a certain amount of things and being okay with that existentially I think is the only thing that you can really do like you can only draw a certain amount of things and you have to choose something and you have to I, you don't have to choose a project but you should choose a project uh, to keep you occupied because there's really nothing else to do and if you're paralyzed by fear and indecision that's like something to pay attention to it's like are you f afraid of choosing the wrong thing and wasting your time well that's wasting your time because you're not making a decision um, are you afraid that people are going to judge you for it and the answer is like it doesn't matter like uh, I have plenty of friends that you know artistically draw pretty like they, they draw raunchy stuff or they draw like you know, porn on Patreon or something. And they're like, oh yeah, they're still my friends and pals and stuff. It's not like we, like anyone judges them for it. Um, and uh, like, I think the first step to becoming an artist is like figuring out like the ropes of it. Like, how do you draw? Like, how do you draw a figure? How do you draw a portrait? How do you like just talk, you know, essentially learning the language of drawing and talking with art. And then the next step is like, what do you do next? Like, how do you spend your time doing it? How do you apply those skills that you practice so long to get? Because um, uh, one, the act of learning takes like a few years or five years, or even if it takes 10 years, it's still not most of your life. Um, then you have another 40 years of like, what do you do next? Um, yeah, well, and it, uh, yeah, wasting your time by thinking it's a waste of time. Like, it's, like, that happens to everybody. Like, uh, you want to make the right decision, and it's a good idea to think about it, which, again, I guess I mentioned this earlier in this live stream. Like, it's always a good idea to study. Uh, it's always a good idea to, like, go and prepare because, you know, you could always be better at figure drawing, 100%. Like, you should be doing figure drawing no matter what. I don't, but... Um, it's a good excuse to uh, not be creative, uh, not be like adventurous with the kind of stuff you create. And there are plenty of people doing adventurous stuff with their figure drawing. I'm not saying figure drawing is bad, but um, you know, the making of stuff, uh, sh I think in general should take priority over the uh, like preparing to make stuff. Um, the craft of it is just one small part of it, and um, it, it's important to be good at that, but also important to like understand like why are you doing this? Like, why do you get up in the morning and like, you know, like why are you watching this stream? You know, <laughs> uh, for anyone here right now, you could literally be doing anything. You know, you could be like on a plane to Japan right now instead, or you could be like going to the grocery store. You could be eating donuts. You could be playing video games or something but for some reason you're sitting here watching another person who has no idea what they're doing just trying to figure it out you know and th th there's like obviously some something that we're all getting out of this like i'm trying to figure out like okay how do i make something that you guys care about uh, and you guys are like okay well like what does this guy have to say and uh otherwise you just wouldn't be listening to this um uh, and I guess answering the question of keeping it a career or just a hobby, like it could be whatever you want. Like, um, a, 
like is it a career once you make x amount of money from it like when do you become a professional artist is it when you make eighty thousand dollars a year from it when you can take care of yourself or is it when you can like buy a house or when you're famous or something and uh for me it's like i'm i've never worked on anything that's i guess I, i've worked on a few things that have been published but i'm not like a famous art director or anything and i would like to say i do art for a living you know um i like whether you disagree with that or not i believe it's true because that's how i spend my time that's what i do that's and uh deciding you're a professional artist is like it, it's sort of arbitrary like um uh if you know you suddenly were making a million dollars off a year off something art related but you don't like it then are you still a professional artist or is it you know are you just a guy that does you know fine art character pieces that you sell for a million dollars uh, I just do it whenever. Um, I do it based on my schedule and my like energy levels. Like I, I haven't streamed in a couple months just because I've been, I guess, busy with other stuff. But I would like to do it more often. Um, I just, uh, yeah, I get distracted <laughs> very easily. Um, No, sorry again. Sorry for the rambling. If uh, kind of hope it is not totally nonsensical. Um, but yeah, I, again with, with all this stuff, it's what up? It's fucking Tomas. What up, dude? Everyone say hi to Tomas. Uh. Um, uh, the stream's going good. Uh, I'm uh, trying to draw some pictures and have it turn into something that's not horrible. Uh, but yeah, I guess back to what I was saying before, like, art is really hard and, um, Everyone I know who does it professionally has moments where they're like, this is like, I'm not a professional. I'm not making enough money. I should have been a lawyer, should have been a doctor, whatever. And um, that's the case for everybody. Like um, if you're like not having fun doing it right now, you could literally stop tomorrow and it doesn't matter. Like it, it, it's, I think art should be something that serves your life for, versus your, you being something that like serves art. like. You shouldn't be like a slave to figure studies. Um, like creative storytelling is the reason a lot of us get into this. Like I got into drawing and painting and figure drawing and all that kind of stuff because I really like World of Warcraft. Like that's the honest answer. I just played a, a shit ton of World of Warcraft and. It's like, I really like Wei Wing. I really like the concept art for WoW. And I really like the world building and stuff. And that's like, oh, that's what I want to do. And the more I got into it, I was like, oh, I actually really like the community of art and drawing and stuff. And I never really felt like I got like good enough to, and it, good is subjective. And it, it, you know, I never had the patience to go and sit down and learn like a pipeline for games, but I really like making YouTube videos. And I really like doing uh, things for Proko and just a bunch of different like I made like a little bit of an eclectic career out of just doing things that I am interested in, like living in a van. And um, it's not like I've made a boatload of money, but it's been an interesting uh, path that has veered completely off from the thing I originally set out to do, just because, you know, that's that's the way life works. And from one perspective, I'm a failed concept artist at Blizzard. And from another, I'm just like a, you know, like a guy that lives in a van and travels and talks to a lot of really interesting people. and. Um, or I'm not, depending if you like me or not. And, yeah. Uh, here, 
Let me check out your YouTube channel. Grix Aquatic. Nice. I like your, uh, I like your stuff. Um. I'll probably cut out sort of soon. Uh, so if you guys have any thoughts or questions or anything, just let me know and I'll do my best to answer. Uh, okay. Uh -oh. Um. Yeah, Tomas, if you want to work on some videos together, uh, hit me up. Let's let's uh, jam on something. Um, whether it's like I, I know you're busy with school and everything, but if you have other things you want to try out and experiment with, just, uh, let's try something. Um, I, I think part of the act of trying to make a creative career is like fitting in everything else that you have to do on top of being creative. Like uh, for the past month, it's been New York Comic Con, COVID, Lightbox, and then. Uh, that comic for bootcamp thing I was at all weekend with, with you. And um, like I've been working on other people's things and being sick for the past month. And I feel like I've lost a lot of personal momentum on making my own shit and like trying to balance that on top of being a art, good artist, trying to make money, trying to like, you know, be independent and do all this stuff and have a girlfriend, all that stuff. It's hard. And that's the actual difficulty of it. It's not being a great artist at all like it's finding the time and the brain power to be like okay i'm gonna sit down for like when i could be relaxing and be like okay i'm gonna make this video finally that i've been procrastinating on um and it is hard like it, it is for sure not easy and you um yeah just try shit out and experiment and do it badly and eventually you either get better at it or you don't but you know the hope is to enjoy as much of the process as you possibly can uh, um oh and if uh anybody is interested uh that is listening now or in the future uh i have a mentorship as you can see in the bottom left um if you would like to pay me money to um have me teach you stuff that i may or may not know um uh, check it out uh, also, I also have a free brush pack, and I'd appreciate it if you guys rated it five stars. But, uh, I guess that's that's the plug. Um, cool. Well, uh, thanks guys for watching. I, I think I'm gonna hop off for now. I'm gonna go lie down and then probably record a YouTube video. Uh, but yeah, have a good one. Or I'll put on my face cam. Uh, yeah, have a good one. Hope you guys. Uh, yeah, bye.